I will show how we can use VLA to check the payments and look for the fraudulent transactions. So here you have a template. Let me just open that one in designer mode and let's see what is going to happen. We'll be having transaction that will capture the card number, email, IP address from which the purchase is to be made and as well as the amount. First of all, we'll check whether the card is valid. For that, we will use one NPM package that actually allows us very simply to check if the card is valid or not. Then there is another one that will be checking whether email it's a temporary or not, which is very important because often uh, when fiddle uh, payment happen, uh, people use the temporary emails. And then we can follow up from there. If the email it's not temporary and the card is valid, then we're gonna launch the ML algorithm to check whether the transaction is trustable or not. That will gonna be a prediction that will go between zero and one. Now, next to that, I will do a small check as the outcome of the machine learning. In order, if I would like to tweak something, I don't necessarily need to go back to the ML algorithm. What I'm doing here is that I'm checking the amount which is gonna be passed, which is make me that my threshold for trusting transaction needs to increase as the amount is increasing. Again, this is just an example. I'm putting here a number 500, but you can imagine some other things happening here as well. Now, if that fraudulent, uh, if that card needs to be blocked, uh, or there is a bad IP address, what does it mean? There is um, an API which enables me to check whether the IPs from which the uh, uh, invocations happen are trusted or not. So there is a quality score, there is an API which enables us to check that and see whether we should trust uh, these IPs uh, for, for any sort of transaction. It does not necessarily have to be a transaction related to the money. And nevertheless, if one of these things happen, uh, then I will basically uh, block the card. And this is what I'm doing here. I'm making the message, okay, that card uh, is going to be blocked. And then I will ex uh, create a call to the external API endpoint uh, to basically uh, send a message that this card is going to be blocked. Similarly, I'm going to create alarm that the card is going to be blocked. Otherwise, the transaction will be fine and I'll also send it as a debug message. If you look back down here at the lower part of the graph, if the uh, card is invalid uh, and the, um, the email is trusted, then assume that someone just uh, wrongly mistyped the card and therefore the text will just be saying that hey, there is a valid email but probably someone entered the bad card. On the other hand, if the card is valid, and it's used a temporary email, we'll raise a different alarm by saying, okay, let's uh, have a warning here because there is a very uh, likely a suspicious uh, use of the card. So again, this is um, a template that makes use of the variables. So this is what we see here. We are actually having within this uh, sensor input arguments, we have four uh, things to check, email, amount, a card, and IP address. And what they're going to do then is that I will be from the external interface calling this template. How am I going to do that? If I look here at the web scripts, we can actually look at the card test. So what's going to happen is that I will be in request body sending the card number, email, amount, and IP address. And then here at the low part here, I'm going to call this template one of one time and I will provide these input arguments, meaning that I will do the fan out for every uh, incoming message that will eventually uh, start the template, while all sensors within the template will also have a fan out functions. And then if um, there are problems, we will then eventually be able to see these things in here. So let me just reset that. I'm just going to delete all alarms and see what happens. For that, I will have created a small script, so let's see what's happening here. I'm actually here having a couple of cards and I will be executing this endpoint, which should then span all these templates. For a demonstration, I didn't use any authentication, but obviously this web script itself can be protected. But again, I'm just going to showcase here how this uh, use case can be used. So let me now run this uh, script. So I will just launch, let's say, it twice. 
and what is going to happen you see it here we will be uh, in parallel this is the n uh, percent sign which is saying here executing all these scripts in parallel we see actually the stuff has been already finished uh, and let me maybe do one more time so we see that all things are happening asynchronously and these inspections uh, these tasks have been generated by the web script itself if you look at the alarms we see immediately how many of these um, card validations have failed or rather we got alarms now if you look at the tasks that have been actually executed like check some of these uh, for instance this one here we can actually follow up in the logs what was happening for instance in this particular case we had a, a proper email that actually the bad card was provided uh, that was actually a um, result of this template and because of that alarm was generated basically we can check each of these transactions that were happening like i said in parallel for each of these and validate if the alarm was uh, propagated and if you remember within this solid card there was an api call here to actually send the um, api towards the other system to actually blow the card and in this particular case i used another web script just to echo the command and if i come back here to look at the echo and if i'm looking at the log actually you can see for instance here that i blocked the card here all right that was all thanks for watching and till the next time bye bye